If you've ever dreamed of flying above traffic like something out of a sci-fi movie, the 2025 Sturismo flying bike might be the closest we've e come to making that dream a reality. This futuristic hover bike blends motorcycle agility with drone-like flight technology, opening the door to a whole new way of moving through the world. The Sturismo is powered by a hybrid propulsion system part electric, part internal combustion allowing it to balance endurance and power. Its main rotors provide lift, while smaller fans ensure stability and maneuverability. It's designed to hover several meters above the ground and can reach speeds of up to 100 km h around 62 miles per hour, making it suitable for short commutes or emergency response applications. From a design perspective, the Sturismo looks like a mix between a sport bike and a high-end drone. It features a carbon fiber body to keep the weight down, while its aerodynamic lines add both visual appeal and functional efficiency. LED lighting and a digital control interface add a futuristic flair, with intuitive joystick-based controls that even new pilots can get used to after a little training. What really sets the Sturismo apart is its ability to operate in areas where traditional vehicles can't think of situations like natural disasters, congested urban zones, or hard-to-reach terrain this flying bike isnt just a toy. It could be a powerful tool for rescue teams, security personnel, or adventurers. In terms of user experience, it's surprisingly smooth. Noise levels are lower than you might expect thanks to precision rotor engineering, and the built-in stabilization systems make hovering feel remarkably stable. That said, it's not yet intended for everyday consumer use it's more of a concept in motion, available to a select market and priced accordingly. Still, the Sturismo is a glimpse into the future of personal transportation. It may not be in every garage tomorrow, but it shows us what is possible when aviation and automotive technologies collide in the most innovative ways. Imagine cruising a few meters above the ground, gliding over traffic instead of getting stuck in it. That s not science fiction anymore it's the reality that the 2025 Sturismo flying bike is bringing to life. Developed by Airwinds Technologies in Japan, this hover bike is one of the world's first commercially available flying motorcycles, and it's reshaping how we think about mobility. At the heart of the Sturismo is a hybrid propulsion system. It combines a traditional gasoline-powered engine with electric motors to power six strategically placed rotors. Two large rotors on the front and rear provide vertical lift similar to how a drone works while four smaller rotors help with stabilization and control. This setup allows the Sturismo to hover, move forward and backward, and make smooth directional changes mid-air. In terms of performance, the flying bike can hover at an altitude of about 3 to 5 meters above ground and hit a top speed of roughly 100 kilometers per hour or about 62 miles per hour. That may not sound like much compared to a sports car, but remember, this machine is flying, not rolling. The sensation of that kind of speed in mid-air is intense and exhilarating. The flight time on a single tank and charge is currently limited to around 30 to 40 minutes, which makes it ideal for short trips or special use cases rather than long distance travel. The developers are working on improving battery and fuel efficiency in future models, which could extend its usability. Now, let us talk design. The Sturismo doesn't look like your average motorcycle. It's built with a lightweight carbon fiber frame to minimize weight while maximizing strength. The body is sleek and aerodynamic, with sharp lines and a futuristic profile. The overall look is bold and aggressive, resembling a mix between a sci-fi racing bike and a high-performance drone. It even features LED lights and a custom digital display panel for telemetry and control input. For control, the rider uses a joystick-like interface rather than handlebars. It might sound complex, but the system is surprisingly intuitive. Pilots receive basic flight training before taking off, 
and the onboard stabilization systems assist with balance, altitude control, and directional changes, making the flying experience smooth and beginner-friendly. Where this machine really shines is in special-use scenarios. Think search and rescue in remote areas, emergency response in disaster zones, or patrolling areas where ground vehicles can't go. Its ability to bypass terrain and obstacles gives it real utility beyond just being a luxury gadget. Military and police forces are also exploring its use for rapid response situations. But let us be clear this ISNTA vehicle for everyone just yet. The Sturismo currently costs several hundred thousand dollars, and it's not street legal in most places. Right now, it's more of a proof of concept, aimed at enthusiasts, professionals, and organizations looking to get ahead of the curve in aerial mobility. Still, it's an exciting glimpse into the future of transportation.